Hi, and welcome to another edition of Nova News. I'm Bashar Leon from Nova Solutions, and today we're here to talk about SEO in 2016. What's in and what's out? Okay, so it's officially almost Christmas time around here, and that's why this is such a timely discussion to now talk about what's hot and what's not with SEO in 2016. So, what's hot? Well, the first thing is local SEO. You see, more and more searches are now taking your geographic location in mind. So, say you typed in a search for sushi. Sure, you could be researching sushi, what sushi means, or who likes sushi, but Google is now smart enough to figure that if you typed in the word sushi, what you probably mean is, I want to eat sushi and where can I go? And that's why now Google pops up with a list of restaurants and reviews that are just around the corner. And you see, that's the power of local SEO. So whatever business you're in, are people who are just around the corner or perhaps in the next municipality over, are they finding you? Are you showing up for those broad key terms that you want to be seen for as well as the very specific ones? That's the power of local SEO. Now the next big trend is mobile friendly sites. With nearly 30% of all searches coming from a mobile device, it's very, very clear go mobile friendly or get hung up on. So what you need to do is simple. Make sure that your site displays properly on mobile devices, and that includes tablets. We refer to this as a responsive site, and just earlier this year, Google made it very clear to the world that whether your site was responsive or not would play a part in determining its worth when displaying it in search results. Now, the next thing that's very big for next year is also providing direct answers. Now, you may have noticed that when you type in a question into Google, rather than just present you with a bunch of websites that could have the answer, there's also a spot up top now where Google actually displays the answer you're looking for. And that saves your users another click. The good news is, if you're providing simple answers to questions that people are asking, you could get picked up into these little answer results and further establish yourself as a leading authority in your field. Okay, so now let's talk about what's not hot. And I'm only gonna talk about one thing today, and that is guest blogging. Yes, I know, I know, guest blogging used to be big. However, bloggers were once offering links in exchange for free content, and just about everyone was offering free content in exchange for that coveted backlink. But now, there are just so many sites that farm backlinks, and Google has all but taken them out of the search engine ranking equation. So, if you are going to blog, make sure it's for a reputable site that Google also respects. Big names that come up like Huffington Post and Forbes, those are the types of blogs that come to mind. And of course, there are a plethora of other mom and pop blogs that are legitimately doing really good work. But stay away from the prey and spray tactic of writing content simply for the backlink. As it turns out, the quality of the backlink is now just as important as the content. So that's all for today and what you need to know about SEO for 2016. Thank you so much for tuning in. And remember, if you enjoyed this video, to like us on Facebook, to follow us on Twitter, and to subscribe to us on YouTube. Thanks again.